I did do all 24 pull requests. I was about to do another stream about doing the pull request, but then I was like, I can't do two long Windows utility pull requests. So for this entire morning, I have been doing pull requests and analyzing and, oh my God, I got to do a video about this. Somebody, oh, somebody out there happens. They put some kind of special character in their stupid pull request and screwed up my JSON file again. <laughs> I'm going to find you. I'm going to hunt you down and I'm going to do bad things. Make you use windows or something. I don't know. Um, but God bless. I was just pulling my hair out this morning because I couldn't find this stupid special character that this jackass put in the pull request. And I, it was 24 pull requests. I tried to test every pull request, but some of them are pretty small. So anyways, I, I tracked it all down. I got most of it done. And uh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Michael's going to do that. I, I got I got something special, though. Yeah, yeah, I, I merged it. I merged from test to main. So you can test out all the changes. I think there was a couple things I had to dump. Like there was a little bit of excess on applications and it just felt like a, a little bit on the bloat side of things. So I was like, oh, okay, let's just dump that. So I, did, I didn't do all of it, but um, most most of the pull requests made it through. All the ones that changed like fundamentally, like Carter did a fantastic pull request uh, redoing the Windows, U, uh, Windows update reset. There was some uh, dep depreciated things in there. So we uh, we fixed that, and then uh, Coding Wonders also did a good pull request, checking the validity of ISOs when using MicroWin. Uh, so if someone tries to feed like a Windows 8 ISO, it's just going to be like, no, that's silly. It's, it's something you probably don't need per se, but it's still nice to have. when As this project just gets so massive, uh, more people use it, and the more people you get in, the just the... Don't underestimate the general public on uh, what can and can't be done. Let's just say that. Uh, Vim extensions. There's a new one, Phoenix, I want to show you. I want to show you. If you ever have an open source project that gets really big, this is going to change your life. I tracked this down this morning. And it is Gremlins. Gremlins is the extension you need yesterday. It's a Gremlins tracker. What it does is it finds zero width space and code in people that purposely try to sabotage you, or maybe they're just a dirty Mac user. Uh, probably the probably the latter. But it will track down those weird special characters that might get tossed into code and say, "Hey, you have Gremlins on these lines," and then you know when you get a bad a bad uh, pull request, you could easily identify the offender. Yes. Here, I'll, I'll link it in chat for you guys. But yeah, if you're doing uh, code, dude, you got to have this. You got to have it. Because, man, this will prevent you from getting pranked. Like, I can totally see, like, at a big company, just, like, screwing stuff up on purpose. And this will save you hours and hours of time. After this morning, I put this in and I was like, okay, game on. Let's get it. <laughs> I'm finding this damn special character. Uh, I need three. Th oh my gosh. No. I, I Well, I did just buy a new camera for inside. I got the the Obsvot or something. It's like a tracking camera. So I'm going to try and uh, film inside a little bit too. Oh, and also <laughs> developers hate this one trick. <laughs> it's a good one, Monk. Uh, but yes, it'll, it'll keep you from getting pranked. I think is the good thing for Gremlins tracker. Obviously with like GitHub and commits, you should be working all your projects through unless you're like a Power world dev. And uh, Gremlins Tracker just gonna help you out. Find, find people doing stuff to your project that maybe you don't want done. So it's kind of a, a cool, cool thing.